Hey guys, Jared here, and welcome to another first look video. This is Crest by a company called Eat, Create, Sleep, and it is a, a very indirect god game, I think would be the best description. You're a god, except you don't actually have any powers, except for the power of telling people sort of what you want them to do. I'm just gonna turn the volume up here a bit, just to make sure that it's nice and loud for you guys. Um, but really it's best explained by playing it, so let's start a new game here and have a look at the little intro cinematic. It's not that cinematic, you still have to click the continue button yourself, but um, I'll try briefly explain what's going on. So in the beginning all was water. And then you gotta click, I think. I'm hoping I'm not missing any lines, but uh, I, I waited for a bit early on and yeah. In this endless ocean, you awoke, alone. And then some weird, certainly shapes happened. After many cycles, you could see small worlds form. And now he goes to Huck, the big sphere in the middle. Some worlds had empty vessels, which reminded you of yourself. You named them humans. I like the fact, like, I like that they're calling it empty vessels, because, you know, it, it sort of gives the, uh, immediately, it gives the, um, impression that you're supposed to be filling these, you're supposed to give them meaning in their life, which is, you know, the traditional role of religion. Your presence gave them a will to live. When you communicate with them, they only see a shadow of your true self. As illustrated with the shadows here, where, you know, it ends up being a completely different shape than the original. They take your words as their own. Their interpretations mold and reshape your form. They will redefine what is right. And what is wrong. Your vessels are ready to take on the world. How they fare is up to you. So, yeah. Uh, that sort of briefly explains it actually. Uh, you get this little island world here uh, where your citizens live. Normally they seem to, in the games I've played at least, they always start between, sort of on the border between a savanna and a, a forest. And then, um, you know, forests are rich, uh, savannas are rich in food, whereas deserts are rich in uh, minerals and metals and such. And now by telling these people what to do, we need to try and make them thrive and survive in this world. You do this by writing commandments. Uh, so you click this little button down here and you get this commandment writing interface where you can... You have these subjects, these are the sort of the, the verbs, in, or not the verbs, the nouns in the sentence and then you have the verbs here. So for instance, uh, if you are hungry, you should prioritize food. That seems to make sense. But, um, now food, what is food? That seems to be something that these guys are not very well aware of. So we need to tell them what food is. So let's see here, antelopes. Uh, I, I, let's see. Antelopes uh, perform food or yeah, I think that'll work. So antelopes are food. Hopefully that that's how it works. Like some of these, um, you know, it's uh, very hard to sometimes interpret exactly what this these symbols actually mean. Like you can see here, let your followers to move to a certain subject. So you know, if you're hungry, you should move to the desert or whatever. That makes no sense. Mm, good coffee. Um, what does make sense, however, is that, um, let's see, mining, metals in the world. Uh, should, uh, like, I, I can make happy people prioritize metals, but I want to do it the other way around so that mining uh, makes you happy. That's something I would like, you know, to tell them. So the question is whether they'll actually interpret it like that. And the only feedback you actually do get from it. See, he's unhappy because he needs more food. Among other things. 
Uh, at least that's what I think that means. You're overweight. You're overfed. So now you you just ate, and now you're fat. Uh, what do I say? Fat people prioritize making babies. There you go. Fat people make babies. Uh, I'm gonna increase the speed here just a bit, just so we can actually see what's happening. Like, uh, I'm wondering where all the lions are. Normally there's like a ton of lions, but luckily they seem to be far away in this. And there aren't actually that many of them. Uh, one of my first games, I... Just just to try, try out the system. Oh, what the hell happened here? Follower died by being consumed by another follower. Okay, so for some reason I have managed to tell them that follow that happy followers are food. Or that overweight followers of food. Um, that's not good. Uh, that's... <laughs> uh, old followers. Now, food. You just ate your neighbor. Lions. Uh, what are you actually? Hold on, what are you? Are you happy? Yeah. Happy? Move to lions. There, go. Happy people should move to lions. You ate your neighbors. <sighs> God, had a hard job, didn't he? Are you, are you gonna pack up and move to those lions now, or...? Yes, you are. He's moving to lions. Excellent. Then maybe, you know... There you go, that's a lion right there. Great. Now you live by the lions and you're the only person alive. Can you even... Are you still happy? Yeah. Happy people prioritize young people. And uh, young people should not have food, or I guess. Uh, food is not young people. Like, it's... The buttons, I, I believe they can do a lot. But I'm not sure uh, I'm interpreting them right, and that's sort of my main issue right now, is I'm having trouble understanding what am I actually telling these people. Uh, uh, but I, I, I guess that is kind of the uh, the challenge of the game, like the and the fun part of the game, because gameplay-wise, this is really all there is. Like, it's very hands-off in terms of being, you know, God. Uh, how, how, can I... You know, yeah, he died. Apparently, he killed. He ate himself. That's not very practical, is it? All right, let's try this again. So let's try to, uh, you know, hungry people prioritize food, but but food could be many things. So let's try instead saying hungry people prioritize antelopes, and not hungry people prioritize scattering metals. Go. Um, why are you just dancing in the forest? Oh, they're... I assume they're eating berries. Or they're just face palming over my... No! They are actually standing out in the forest making babies. When you have a period where followers are born, you need to prioritize... Uh, I don't know... Prioritize the forest when young people are born. Does that make any sense? So people are unhappy because apparently they... Oh, they got plenty of food. They they even have metal. Everyone, all of them have metal. But uh, yeah, how do we get them to actually finish making the babies? Overfed. Prioritize young people. And he's prioritizing metals now because apparently something something. I don't know. But yeah, like. I think part of what's um, 
confusing me is that the whole happy unhappy here is not actually the state of being happy it's it just applies to the people that are unhappy so you know um if you're happy you can eat the unhappy or whatever i don't know they're all prioritizing metal right now so i guess that's an expedition if i could get them to move over here instead that'd be you know slightly shorter distance they need to travel but i don't want to have to move to the desert, you know. What just happened to you? See, they're all adults, so they need to really make some babies. You're just kind of hug hugging yourself. Are you hungry? Nobody's hungry. I do hear a lion eating some antelope somewhere. Um... What's wrong with you? Are you nursing a baby? It kind of looks like you're nursing a baby, but none of them actually had a baby. And they're all just out gathering metal. I think they're gonna mine themselves to, to death. Did I have the hungry prioritized antelopes? Yes, I did. Hungry, move to forest. Go. See, he's hungry, so he's... If you're hungry, don't prioritize gathering metals. All followers should not have babies. <laughs> he starved to death. Well, is that my fault? I don't know. Where are they going? Are they going out to the forest to have babies? Yes, they are. They are moving over there in order to have babies, I guess. One lives there. One lives there. So can we? And... Died of old age. Great. So apparently I've tell, told them... I can't, how do you... How do you... How do you make the babies? Hey, old people apparently moved to the forest. That's great. And now you died. Nearly. I think I might have lost this again. Holy hell, look at this. If only we could just get them to live out here, then they wouldn't starve and there wouldn't be any lions. That's interesting. I'm not sure that's an intended feature. Yeah, new game. Let's try one more time. Alright, so what do we have? We live on the wrong side of the mountain from where the camera started. That's interesting. So they're just kind of taking care of themselves at the moment, except that they, you know, they're empty inside. This guy is happy. This guy is very unhappy. Those guys are... I have no clue, actually. Early on, you know, that, that meant that they were um, humping, but I think right now it might suggest that... Uh, I have no clue, I have no clue. These... These humans. Ah, <sighs> confusing beings, confusing beings. Can I do anything like food? Something like this. Antelopes are good food. But if you're hungry, you should prioritize food. Actually, let, let, let's, let's try purposefully seeing if we can make a how, how quickly we can lose this. So, if you're hungry, um, you should perform food. And if you're hungry, you should prioritize old people. There we go, eat the old people. 
That's horrible. Like, I'm, I'm just wondering if there's some sort of, you know, uh, minus in there where, you know, they do the exact opposite of what you tell them to. So he's gathering a bit of food. He's gathering food. They're all hungry. Nobody's died of starvation just yet. If you're overfed, you should prioritize small children. And then you should eat them. Lions uh, should be avoid. Uh, young people avoid lions. There we go. These lions are farting very loudly. I kind of feel like this game could do very well with some sort of progressive tech tree where. Depending on, like, if you manage to, you know, get a first baby, then you unlock a number of extra commandment things. Like, so you just, the further you get in the game, the more depraved or advanced stuff you could tell them. But then again, like, it, it is a sort of a 5-10 minute game where you go in and see, hey, how am I doing? But the interface, like, I'm, I'm getting tooltips here. But I'm not getting tooltips here. Like I would like to see how long does it last before this. Like I think this is a timer. Um, and having just some sort of indication of what they actually interpret by things would also be nice. See, do we have any happy followers at all? Yes, we do. Happy followers prioritize making babies. Uh, because that means they're not about to starve to death. Unhappy followers prioritize mining. There you go. Um, unhappy followers avoid lions. They're, they're just camping here now. Happy followers move away from lions. Go. Are they just humping in the forest while the lions? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. They are actually all humping in the forest while the lions are, you know, hunting. And now they stop making babies, even though none of them actually succeeded. Oh, one of them is still trying. Two of them are still trying. And the lions just watching. <gasps> oh, look, I'm gonna look at these humans making babies. That's fun. Oh, now they gave up. Nope. Ain't gonna happen. That's a really weird animation, isn't it? You died of old age just a second before you actually managed to get a baby. You died of old age. They all died of old age because none of them actually finished making the baby. <sighs> I'm bad at this. Anyway... I hope you guys enjoyed this little preview of Crest by eCreate Sleep. It's available on Steam as an early access game. I think it's like five euro or something like that. It's it's a it's a fun little visit. Um, if you would like to see more, of course, then by all means put it in the comment, and I might do a, a sequel to this once I've actually figured out the game a bit more. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this little preview of an early access game, which has not been released. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.